Well, hello and welcome back to another video. For this one, you join me down at Burners Hall Fishery in Essex for the British Carp Angling Championships. I was fishing in the singles event, trying to qualify myself for that final, where I could have a shot of getting my name on the top of that leaderboard. However, in the excitement of this all being my first major competition, I had completely forgotten to film the intro, so that is why you join me here now, having just got back home, where I'm gonna run you through a few things. Now, the draw, which was a lottery draw, left me completely in the blue as to where I would be. My swim choice was in the hands of the carp gods and I was absolutely nervous. So, seeing everyone else's names getting pulled out of that bucket one by one, it wasn't until the 18th name got pulled where I'd find out where I was. Now, I ended up pulling out swim D1, which I wasn't too disheartened about as I had seen a few signs of carp in that area as we walked around the lake before the draw. Now, once the draw was over, I could not wait to get myself around to the swim as quickly as possible and start trying to think tactics of what I would be doing. Now, by the time the all-in horn had blown, I knew exactly where I was fishing, what I would be doing, and yeah, I could not wait to get that first rod out. And the first rod, I decided, best thing to do would be a zig rig fished about a foot or so below the surface as we've seen plenty of carp in the upper layers of the water. Now unfortunately bonus hall rules only allow one zig per angler so I couldn't help but stick a solid bag out in the same area just in case there were a few fish down in the lower layers of the water. Well after getting the rods out I knew the next thing I had to do was get a nice sloppy mix made up and get four large spawns of bait straight over the top of my zigs and I hope that I could pull them fish down towards my zig. However, carp just were not interested one bit. By this point they were all just sat on the surface and couldn't care less. Now thankfully I bought a controller float with me but I had completely forgotten my floaters. Conveniently, on site there is a nice little tackle shop full of stock and they did have plenty of floaters there. So quickly ran the rods in, ran round there, picked up a couple of bags, and yeah, it wasn't long before I would get my first opportunity. However, this didn't last long. As about 30 seconds or so after hooking the carp, it just came off, hook pulled, I could do nothing about it, and I was absolutely gutted. So I carried on for a good few hours, float fishing to no luck at all. So it was time for dinner. So after dinner, I knew it was starting to get dark. So my first thing to do was reel in both rods, get some so fresh solid bags back out on the spot, and I pack, put about six or seven large spawns with a nice mix consisting of hemp, maize, 12 mil critter boilies, some squid and octopus pellet, glugged up in the critter glug. Now, nice simple mix and it looked absolutely amazing. So that is it for the first day. Hope you enjoyed the rest of this video and I will see you in a little while. Well, we're now coming into the second night here at the BCAC. Um, unfortunately, this section has been very quiet. Not a single fish has come out yet. Um, yeah, unfortunately, just down the wrong end of the lake, really. There's been quite a few coming out down the other end. But, uh, yeah, it's looking over for. We've seen a few fish in the area. So, fingers crossed, one of them rods tonight should go off. I have made a few little changes, and hopefully that should bring some fish on. But, um, yeah, we've just got our dinner sorted. So we're going to sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the evening. Hopefully, hopefully things will change. If not, it's looking like it's going to go to a cast-off. 
and the way things have been going this session, I'm not feeling confident for that. <laughs> What the f Well, we've got just over two hours left to go now. Um, yeah, unfortunately, very quiet night again last night. Pretty much all around the lake. Um, yeah, anything could happen in those two hours though. I'm feeling hopeful. I've chucked a few swarms of the floaters out there and uh, I've seen a few fish taking them. So uh, hopefully, it won't be long before we can try and get on. Well, unfortunately the horn has sounded and we're now at the end. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately we didn't qualify. The guy a couple of swims down from me in the corner managed to get one about four o'clock this morning. And uh, yeah, that was the only fish out from this section. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's it. But bring on next year, we'll be back. Uh, yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit me up on all the socials, and I'll see you in the next one. There ain't really much I can say about it, really. <laughs> You all tried your hardest, you all worked as hard as you could. Just wasn't happening, was it? So, um, yeah, so going through to the final, just want to say congratulations. We've got Ben, wherever he is. Ben, well done. We've got Max. Max, obviously, we you know, had them two banging fish out first. <laughs> I've seen him in loads. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> That's his favourite to see. Yes, we've got Max, Ben, A section, we've got Richard. Oh, <laughs> snuck that one, did you? And then in D section, actually snuck it this morning. And the new Parker Bates ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe more. That's what we're in talks. We're in talks. Adrian, well done. Well done. What we'll do, guys, in a sec, we'll do some photos up on the board. Other than that, let's get you home. So. Thanks to Stretch for marshalling this weekend. You have been here. Well done, And the other fellow. And the other fellow. <laughs> yeah, you're disqualified from everything. <laughs> But yeah, guys, thank you very much. If the winners want to come over, we're going to do the pictures. If you want to shoot off home, you can do.